humble farmer goes alone to safety bureau to save people, all because Lin Ma owes sturdy man a favor. What chance does Lin Lan have against the heavily guarded safety bureau? After finishing their meal, Lin Ma, fearing he'll be interrogated by safety bureau, quickly urges Lin Lan to go home immediately. Lin Lan smiles and says he will go to the train station. After watching Lin Ma and Wu Kuen walk away, Lin Lan turns and heads towards safety bureau. If sturdy man saved Lin Ma once, we can't just ignore him, he thinks, his eyes shining with unparalleled confidence. Forty minutes later, a farmer wearing a straw hat appears at the entrance of safety bureau. His hat is worn low, so you can't see his face. The guard, seeing a stranger trying to enter, shouts cautiously. This is a restricted area of safety bureau. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed. The farmer doesn't speak. He just silently takes a small coffin out of his pocket. The coffin is palm-sized. Didn't you hear me? This is a restricted area of safety bureau. Go away, you little trash. Who gave you the confidence to act so arrogantly? Lin Lan slightly adjusts his hat brim. He then casually opens the small coffin in his hand. A chilling wind howls out of it, accompanied by the soul-stirring wails of ghosts. The guard suddenly freezes. The coffin in Lin Lan's hand bursts forth with a powerful suction force. The guard's soul turns into a streak of light, shooting out from his nostrils, and lands directly inside the tiny coffin. The next second, the previously arrogant guard falls to his knees with a thud. Lin Lan calmly walks past the two men, accompanied by the sound of their lifeless bodies hitting the ground. Our humble old farmer exudes endless dominance. He slowly ascends the steps of the safety bureau's main door, then forcefully pulls open the tightly locked gate. Because the earlier fight made virtually no noise, the people inside have no clue about the situation outside. Hey, who are you looking for? Old man, this is not a place for you. A female agent holding a folder sternly asks, just as she's about to inquire further. Her pupils suddenly dilate. The coffin in the hands of the farmer wearing the straw hat seems to be no ordinary thing. What are you doing? The female agent's face changes dramatically. She quickly steps back. Intruder alert. She shouts loudly. Subsequently, the agents within safety bureau react extremely quickly, instantly gathering and forming a defensive formation. At the same time, they all reach for their left arms, preparing to summon their contracted ghosts. You're too slow, Lin Lan says, expressionless, then gently opens the coffin in his hand. The soul-stirring chilling wind howls out again, sweeping quickly across everyone in the safety bureau. Their souls immediately leave their bodies, all being sucked into the coffin. Not a single agent who tried to obstruct his path is spared. They all fall down in a heap, expressionless. Lin Lan steps over the bodies scattered on the ground, heading straight to the interrogation room. At this moment, sturdy man is strapped to an electric chair, his body covered in lash marks. Aren't you going to talk? Was it Lin Ma who opened the ancient tomb? A brash agent harshly interrogates, lifting his head with difficulty. Sturdy man responds, I've said countless times, I was the one who opened the tomb gate. Why don't you believe me? Hearing this, the agent shouts angrily, still playing tough with me? Let's see how you like this. Saying that, he picks up the controller on the table, quickly pressing the switch button. The next second, a powerful electric current courses through sturdy man's body, causing him to tremble violently, while letting out painful wails. Just then, the door of the interrogation room is suddenly kicked open. Seeing this, the agents are instantly stunned. What the hell? Where did this farmer come from? How could he appear in such a confidential place? The farmer adjusts his straw hat and walks straight towards sturdy man in the electric chair, missing a leg and all muscle. This must be the sturdy man that Lin Ma mentioned. Upon this thought, Lin Lan pulls out the sickle blade tucked into his waistband. With a few crisp snaps, the handcuffs and leg cuffs on sturdy man are all cut off. This leaves the agents watching dumbfounded. Who the hell are you, daring to be so arrogant right in front of us? Lin Lan grins wickedly. The sickle in his hand instantly slashes out two fierce waves of blade energy. The next second, two agents suddenly jolt upright, staring in horror at the fresh cuts appearing on their necks, followed by a spray of what looks like ketchup. Both agents drop dead on the spot. This scene leaves sturdy man stunned. Damn, is this guy the reincarnation of the king of hell? I didn't even get a clear look and those two were already dead. Seeing sturdy man's jaw drop, Lin Lan can't help but speak. Stop gawking. I came to rescue you. Upon hearing this, Sturdy Man immediately bows and thanks. Thank you, Elder, for saving me. May I know your esteemed name so I can repay you later? Lin Lan replies that there's no need. It's a trivial matter, not worth mentioning. With that, he hands Sturdy Man a card. If you're cornered by the safety bureau, take this card to the address on it. It will save your life. After saying this, Lin Lan turns to leave. Because of his wide-brimmed hat, Sturdy Man is unable to see the face of his savior. Based on intuition, he knows this farmer must be a good person. I must repay this great kindness. Meanwhile, Lin Ma is returned to his dormitory. As soon as he walks in, he hears black little fat yelling, Damn, Lin Ma bro, come look, big trouble. The safety bureau got massacred this afternoon. They say everyone who saw the perpetrator is dead. Strangely, there are no wounds on them. They must have died from some kind of soul-absorbing dark art. Hearing black little fat's words, Lin Ma is instantly filled with dread. Black little fat hurriedly turns on the news. According to surveillance, the perpetrator is a farmer. The city is now actively searching for farmers. After listening, Lin Ma's head feels like it's going to explode. This guy kind of looks like dad. No, 
that can't be possible. He usually doesn't have a proper form. It can't be him. Soon, it's already midnight. Lean Ma sets out again, preparing to head to the Northwest Cemetery to seek death from the cursed spirit ghost. He learned from the news today that Sun Deli luckily escaped because he was out on a mission with the chief, so he still needs to get the antidote Fern ran from him. The immediate priority is to quickly comprehend Sword Ghost. At this moment, three shadows are suddenly trailing behind Lean Ma. Initially, when Gao Shershir learned the true nature of her father, she had no intention of continuing the tracking mission. But today's massacre at the safety bureau has reignited her determination to follow Lean Ma. Although she can't say why, Gao Shershir feels this incident has a lot to do with Lean Ma. Half an hour later, Lean Ma finally arrives at the desolate cemetery in the northwest. Looking at the massive grave mound before him, Lean Ma is certain this must be cursed spirit ghost slayer. At this point, a little kid ghost hides behind a tombstone, his round eyes sizing up Lean Ma. When he hears Lean Ma mention cursed spirit ghost, little kid ghost instantly pokes half of his body out. Big brother, what do you want with our boss? Seeing this, Lean Ma picks up little kid ghost. So your cursed spirit ghost's minion, huh? Where's your boss right now? Speak quickly if you don't want your butt to bloom. Frightened, little kid ghost hurriedly says, he's in this communal tomb. After saying this, he's tossed like a ball by Lean Ma. With a thud, a big footprint is left on little kid ghost's behind, and he's kicked directly into the entrance of the tomb. Go and bring your boss out for me. Lean Ma yells at little kid ghost with a sinister smile on his face. At this moment, deep inside the communal tomb, cursed spirit ghost and heart-eating ghost are voraciously eating a corpse. Suddenly, they hear little kid ghost's panicked voice from afar. Boss, something's wrong. Someone's here to cause trouble. Confused, cursed spirit ghost asks, what? Are you sure it's a human causing trouble, not a ghost? Upon receiving confirmation from little kid ghost, cursed spirit ghost forcefully spits out the dried meat from his mouth. Little brother, hurry up. Kill that human and bring him back for me to enjoy with my drink. Upon hearing this, heart-eating ghost immediately stands up. Don't worry, boss. It's been a long time since I've eaten a live human. I'm sick of eating this dried meat every day. Seeing this, little kid ghost interjects. That man is the groom of red-dressed female ghost. They just got married yesterday. Hearing this, heart-eating ghost hesitates, while cursed spirit ghost spits in anger. I knew it. Only someone with the backing of red-dressed female ghost would dare come here. His voice turning menacing. Cursed spirit ghost continues. This is a clear lack of respect for me. Sending her man to my territory. Little brother, kill him. I want that wretched woman to know who really owns this desolate graveyard. No sooner had he finished speaking than heart-eating ghost vanishes from the spot. The next second, he appears in the tomb's passage, charging swiftly towards Lean Ma. Seeing that it's not cursed spirit ghost, Lean Ma's face droops in disappointment. Why did a lackey come out? Where's your boss? Cursed spirit ghost. Feeling belittled, heart-eating ghost is offended. Damn human, you really talk big. With that, heart-eating ghost rushes towards Lean Ma, and with a loud thud, a long tail smashes into Lean Ma, sending him flying with great force, until he crashes heavily against a tombstone. This level of power won't be enough to force out Sword Ghost. He then makes a friendly gesture towards heart-eating ghost. Are you just tickling me? It looks like you're not that strong after all. You ignorant worm. Hand over your heart then. Who is infuriated and lets out a loud roar? Then, shaping his hand like a blade, he swiftly lunges towards Lean Ma's chest. Yet Lean Ma simply spreads his arms, not moving, calmly letting the attack land on him. With a squelching sound, heart-eating ghost's hand blade pierces into Lean Ma's chest. Unable to withstand it any longer, Lean Ma spews out a mouthful of ketchup. Seeing this scene from a distance, Gao Shershir and the others nearly let out a scream. He clearly has two ghosts. Why doesn't he summon them? Sun Lily is also wide-eyed in shock. Why would Lean Ma provoke heart-eating ghost? Isn't this just asking for death? Sun Ma beside them keeps shouting. He's crazy. He's definitely crazy. Why did Dad send us to investigate a madman? On the other side, heart-eating ghost has already clenched Lean Ma's heart in his hand. All he needs to do is yank his arm back to feast on the long-desired heart. Just at that moment, Lean Ma, on the verge of death, seems to feel the presence of Sword Ghost. Suddenly, a surge of intense ghost energy spreads from his arms. Lean Ma can't help but feel ecstatic. This is the feeling. It's finally happening. In the next second, Lean Ma's arms dramatically transform into two skeletal limbs. One hand tightly grips Heart-Eating Ghost's arm. Seeing this, Heart-Eating Ghost's pupils constrict in fear. What's going on? Why is this kid so hard to kill? In an instant, a chilling wind howls. As Lean Ma's body emanates a ferocious ghost energy, not only is his hair wildly dancing in the wind, even his clothes are blown open. Under the cover of night, Lean Ma looks exactly like a malevolent ghost. The next second, a large amount of ghost energy rushes towards the palm of Lean Ma's hand and rapidly solidifies. Then, a sharp ghost sword appears, and Lean Ma instantly grabs it. He then stomps his feet forcefully and swings multiple waves of sword energy directly at Heart Eating Ghost. Due to the close distance, Heart Eating Ghost can't evade and is battered by the sword energy. Seeing this, Sun Mao and his sister break into a cold sweat. Holy crap, he just one shot a wicked spirit level ghost. Has he been hiding his real power? Sun Lily even says worriedly, If I had known he was this powerful, I never would have provoked him. Do you think Lin Ma will try to kill me at some point? Hearing this, Sun Mao starts.
starts to stutter. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Gao Shershir also confirms her thoughts. He's too strong. With this level of power, him slaughtering the safety bureau isn't surprising. Suddenly Gao Shershir exclaims, something's wrong. Lin Ma's power seems to be rapidly declining. Lin Ma's skeletal arms are quickly regenerating, and his strong ghost energy is rapidly fading away. If I can't comprehend it this time, I don't know when I'll get another chance. Though Lin Ma is weak and sweating profusely, he still fights to remain conscious. Hold on, I must retain sword ghost. Lin Ma bites his tongue to bring himself back to a slightly more lucid state, and focuses all his energy on capturing the essence of sword ghost. Just as his arms fully regenerate, a humming sound emanates from Lin Ma's palm, and a hint of ghost energy radiates from it. This change fills Lin Ma with joy. I did it. I finally sensed the presence of sword ghost. Lin Ma shouts out loud, sword, come forth. Accompanied by his mental command, the ghost sword, made from condensed in energy, reappears in his hand. Although the sword energy on it this time is somewhat diluted, it's not as strong as when his arms transformed into skeletal limbs. It's still very powerful for Lin Ma at his current level. The next second, Lin Ma tightly grips the hilt of the sword ghost, and swiftly swings it at a distant rock. A burst of ghost energy is released instantly, cutting rapidly into the rock. The moment it makes contact, the rock explodes into countless fragments. Satisfied, Lin Ma sheets the sword ghost, though he retained only a little of its energy. With further comprehension, sword ghost can be leveled up like other ghosts. This means returning to ghost king level is not impossible. Then, Lin Ma opens the status panel of sword ghost. Holy crap, it's got the strength of a mid-level malevolent spirit, and loyalty is at 100%. Perhaps it's because sword ghost is just a wisp of a soul, lacking self-awareness, that its loyalty is full. Lin Ma ponders this, then shifts his gaze to the skill section. Activating both skills will require 700 points. Luckily, I have enough points now. Might as well go all in and activate both skills. With that thought, Lin Ma taps on Sword Ghost's skill section. Exchange for Sword Ghost's first skill successful. One sword to extinguish souls. Swing the Ghost Sword. When inflicting physical damage on the enemy with the blade, ignore magic resistance. Spiritual energy consumption is zero. One sword to eliminate evil. Swing the Ghost Sword. Unleash furious sword energy to inflict magical damage on enemies. Ignoring armor. Reading through the description, Lin Ma can't help but be amazed. One is for physical damage, and the other for magical damage. The key thing is that they don't consume any spiritual energy. These sword ghost skills are really awesome. Blood pupiled ghost runs out, eager to take credit. How about that? I told you forming a contract with sword ghost was a good idea. At that moment, chainsaw ghost roars, unwilling to be outdone. Sword ghost is not as strong as me. I want to battle him 300 rounds. Lin Ma, in a good mood, waves at chainsaw ghost to quiet down. I'll buy you some pork belly later. Just then, Lin Ma suddenly senses a strong ghost energy approaching. An old, hunched over lady appears in the graveyard. Unable to walk properly, she hobbles out leaning on a cane. So you're the one who killed heart-eating ghost. You must pay for it in blood. She snarls as she walks, emitting a ghastly aura. Half her face has already turned black. Meanwhile, inside the vine-covered ancient mansion, red-dressed female ghost is applying her makeup in front of a mirror. When a ghost maid rushes in, Master, it's bad. The little ghosts report that young Master is clashing with cursed spirit ghost from the northwest tomb. Red-dressed female ghost immediately stops what she's doing. What? Why would he provoke that old hag cursed spirit ghost? Didn't I tell him we have a feud? Master, think about it. He knew about your feud and still went alone. He's clearly trying to avenge you. According to reliable sources, he has already killed heart-eating ghost, the second in command in the graveyard. Upon hearing this, red-dressed female ghost blushes. My husband is so good to me. He dared to go into cursed spirit ghost's territory all by himself. I knew I chose the right person. The next second, red-dressed female ghost slams her hand on the table and stands up. That damn cursed spirit ghost dares to lay a hand on my husband. Issue my command. Gather all the minions. Attack the graveyard and rescue young master. The maid gives a piercing whistle, and suddenly countless ghosts crawl out of the tombs, all gathering in front of the ancient mansion. Let me be straight. Your young master is fighting cursed spirit ghost alone. What should we do? The answer is unanimous. Attack the graveyard. Rescue young master. The ghosts all wave and cheer in response. Today is the day for the decisive battle with cursed spirit ghost. Meanwhile, at the graveyard, three people hiding in the shadows see Lin Ma being surrounded. Gao Shershir can't help but exclaim, saying that even the military would probably not be able to handle so many ghosts. Sun Mao is shocked and swallows hard. It's going to be hard for Lin Ma to survive this time. Upon hearing this, Sun Lily sighs in relief. He's finally going to get killed by a swarm of ghosts. Our stalking mission is finally coming to an end. At this moment, Cursed Spirit Ghost enters battle mode, releasing an overwhelming ghost energy that even withers the grass beneath her feet. Seeing this, Lin Ma cautiously takes a few steps back. Having now comprehended the sword ghost, if he continued to seek death wholeheartedly, he would truly meet his end. So, he waves at Cursed Spirit Ghost in a friendly manner. Let's not get worked up. This is all a misunderstanding. Hearing this, Cursed Spirit Ghost loses her composure. You killed my second in command, and you call this a misunderstanding? Do you think I'm an idiot? Cursed Spirit 
ghost draws a dagger and takes a few steps forward. I don't think you're getting out of here today. In a bit, I'll use your organs to pay tribute to my second in command. With that, she swings her arm, and dozens of ghosts swarm in, all extending their claws to attack. Seeing this, a sense of despair rises in Lin Ma's heart. Is today the day I die? Just then, with a slashing sound, the ghost at the front suddenly falls to the ground. Great, reinforcements have arrived. Butcher, you're too awesome. Lin Ma looks at the ghost in front of him, overjoyed. Butcher ghost turns his head and says, young friend, no need for formalities. Just call me ex-husband brother. Hearing this, Lin Ma feels a bit embarrassed. Ex-husband brother, how did you come to be here? Butcher ghost points to the distance, where red-dressed female ghost is leading an army. Under your wife's command, we're here to rescue you. You old hag, dare to lay a hand on my husband. Minions, attack. Cursed spirit ghost, not to be outdone, turns her head and angrily retorts. You're the one who deserves to die. When enemies meet, their eyes blaze with hatred. In an instant, the two ghost armies clash, ferocious howls filling the air. Get lost. A ghost Andy from red-dressed female ghost's side immediately sends an enemy ghost flying with a punch, and from cursed spirit ghost's side, a corrosive ghost opens its mouth wide and spits acid over an opposing ghost. Lin Ma, having never seen such a spectacle, watches as the entire northwest tomb turns into a chaotic mess. He can't help but step back. I've seen humans clash, but this is the first time I've seen ghosts fighting like this. At this moment, red-dressed female ghost opens her arms and flies towards Lin Ma. Husband, are you okay? Saying this, she embraces Lin Ma. Were you trying to secretly take down cursed spirit ghost and then surprise me? But you really should have consulted me first. It's too dangerous to come here alone. I don't want anything to happen to you. Finishing her words, red-dressed female ghost coquettishly buries herself in Lin Ma's chest, looking every bit the dependent lovebird. Upon seeing this, cursed spirit ghost becomes instantly furious, releasing a torrent of ghost energy from her body, sending all the minor ghosts around her flying away. You despicable couple. You killed my lieutenant. Heart-eating ghost. I'll make you pay with your lives. Cursed spirit ghost roars and charges at Lin Ma and red-dressed female ghost. Seeing this, red-dressed female ghost quickly shields Lin Ma. You old hag. Spouting nonsense. Husband, take a break. Let me handle this one. After speaking, red-dressed female ghost activates her internal ghost energy. She forms hand signs, and her surrounding ghost energy instantly expands. Wherever the ghost energy spreads, blood-red otherworld flowers begin to grow. The next second, the flowers shoot out like arrows. In the blink of an eye, numerous flowers strike deep into cursed spirit ghost's army. Seeing this, cursed spirit ghost quickly dodges, but her subordinates become live targets. The moment they are hit, the cursed ghosts let out painful wails. Their bodies turn into puddles of pus upon contact with the otherworld flowers. Holy crap, so strong. Lin Ma can't help but exclaim. Not only does the range of these flowers cover a large area, their damage is incredibly high as well. Seeing her minions gone just like that, cursed spirit ghost angrily takes out a straw doll. You little girl, you're still too young to fight me. Saying this, she aims the straw doll at red-dressed female ghost. I invoke the five directional ghost soldiers. Straw curse. Reveal your power. After mumbling these words, cursed spirit ghost takes out a steel needle and mercilessly stabs it into the straw doll's chest. Just then, red-dressed female ghost's pale and delicate body trembles violently, and a stream of blood emerges from her chest. She then weakly collapses into Lin Ma's arms. Seeing this, Lin Ma realizes cursed spirit ghost's skill. Any subsequent damage inflicted upon the straw doll will be indirectly transferred to the opponent. Upon pondering, Lin Ma anxiously asks red-dressed female ghost, are you alright? Should we find an opportunity to retreat? Hearing this, red-dressed female ghost breaks free from Lin Ma's embrace. Husband, don't worry, it's just a minor trick. She then stands up, leaps into the air and hovers, while emitting a torrent of ghost energy. Soon, the area around her is covered in a large number of otherworld flowers. With a clap, red-dressed female ghost's hands come together. Accompanied by a mysterious red light emanating from her palms, the otherworld flowers quickly converge towards cursed spirit ghost. Soon, cursed spirit ghost's ghostly form starts to disintegrate. You little girl, you actually want to fight to the death with me, then I'll grant your wish. Saying this, she roars, and charges directly at red-dressed female ghost in the air. Seeing this, Lin Ma lightly taps his arm. If you two masters are fighting, I can't just stand idly by. The next second, big-breasted ghost and chainsaw ghost are summoned, and Lin Ma also brandishes the newly comprehended ghost sword. Attack! Lin Ma takes the lead and charges into the ghostly fray. Chainsaw ghost, seeming like a long-confined criminal, starts wildly swinging its chainsaw and venting. Lin Ma also wants to test out his ghost sword, and finds that its one sword to extinguish soul's ability is incredible incredibly powerful, actually cleaving the opposing wild grave ghost in two. Just at that moment, a burnt ghost suddenly appears beside Lin Ma. Before he can react, the burnt ghost quickly spews out a large fireball, directly aimed at Lin Ma's face. My good buddy, you have high defense. Quick, block it for me. Seeing this, Lin Ma skates away, immediately dodging behind Green Corpse Ghost. With a boom, the fireball lands squarely on Green Corpse Ghost, instantly burning him to a crisp. Even his hair and eyebrows are gone. Smokey all over.
over. Green Corpse Ghost shouts at Lean Ma. I have high physical defense, but I can't block magical damage. Lean Ma scratches his head awkwardly. Bro, don't get so heated. It's bad for your health. Soon, Red Dressed Female Ghost's team's advantage continues to grow, while Cursed Spirit Ghost's subordinates begin to retreat. If I can't finish you off quickly, I'll kill your man first. How about that? Cursed Spirit Ghost pulls out two steel needles, then gives Red Dressed Female Ghost an evil grin with a whooshing sound. After chanting a few curses, Cursed Spirit Ghost flicks her fingers, directly shooting the steel needles at Lean Ma. Husband, watch out. Seeing this, Red Dressed Female Ghost urgently cries out. Unfortunately, the steel needles are too fast. Lean Ma can't control Chainsaw Ghost to block them in time. With a poof, a red lotus suddenly appears in front of Lean Ma, blocking the incoming steel needles. Immediately, both Lean Ma and Red Dressed Female Ghost breathe a sigh of relief. Lean Ma curses, finding Cursed Spirit Ghost to be truly cunning, while Red Dressed Female Ghost is relieved she arrived just in time. Just then, Cursed Spirit Ghost in the air suddenly charges at Red Dressed Female Ghost, simultaneously forming a pentagram with steel needles as a ghost killing formation. Ha ha, you've been tricked. Seeing this, Red Dressed Female Ghost is immediately alarmed. She didn't expect Cursed Spirit Ghost's attack on Lean Ma to be a feint. The real target is herself, and due to the close distance, there's no time to dodge. The next second, five steel needles pierce into Red Dressed Female Ghost's abdomen, then her ghostly form starts to rupture. You wretched woman, go die for me. The triumphant Cursed Spirit Ghost lets out an excited shout, as she prepares several more steel needles to finish off Red Dressed Female Ghost once and for all. Seeing this, Lean Ma can't help but curse. This old hag is really sneaky. He then controls Big Breasted Ghost to rapidly fly towards Cursed Spirit Ghost, while activating the skill the Sanskrit sound claims life. With the rapid rise of the chant-like musical tones, Cursed Spirit Ghost instantly becomes paralyzed, unable to move. What kind of music is this? Why does my head feel dizzy the more I listen? Seizing the opportunity, Lean Ma controls Chainsaw Ghost to launch himself into the air. Then, gripping his sword, he strikes at Cursed Spirit Ghost, one sword to extinguish souls. In a swift motion, Lean Ma slashes diagonally from Cursed Spirit Ghost's right shoulder to her left rib. With a ripping sound, Cursed Spirit Ghost's robe is instantly shredded, revealing a vest made of straw. However, that sword strike only left a scratch on it. Brat, you can't harm me. My armor is even thicker than Green Corpse Ghost's. Seeing Cursed Spirit Ghost so arrogant, Lean Ma snorts disdainfully. What does your high armor have to do with me? After saying this, he executes another move. One sword to eliminate evil. Useless young man, your iron slab of a sword won't harm me. Cursed Spirit Ghost mocks as she sees the incoming sword, even deliberately leaning into the strike. With a splurt sound, the ghost sword instantly pierces through Cursed Spirit Ghost's body. Feeling the intense pain, an expression of disbelief fills Cursed Spirit Ghost's face. How is this possible? The next second, sword energy bursts from the wound, like a million razor blades slicing into Cursed Spirit Ghost, blasting her forcefully to the ground. Sorry, this sword deals magical damage, so your high armor doesn't matter. Lean Ma coldly snorts as he looks at the remains of Cursed Spirit Ghost on the ground. At this moment, Red Dressed Female Ghost removes the steel needle from her body. She directly approaches the subordinates of Cursed Spirit Ghost. Cursed Spirit Ghost is dead. If you want to live, recognize me as your new leader. As she speaks, her expression suddenly turns fierce. If you're still loyal to Cursed Spirit Ghost, I don't mind sending you to join her right now. As her words fall, the subordinates of Cursed Spirit Ghost look at each other and promptly raise their hands to surrender. They then kneel on the ground and shout, Greetings, Red Dressed Female Ghost. From now on, you are our new leader. Seeing this scene, Red Dressed Female Ghost shows a satisfied smile. Who would have thought that after fighting with Cursed Spirit Ghost for hundreds of years, I finally managed to defeat her with the help of my husband. Thinking this, Red Dressed Female Ghost immediately starts looking around. Where is my husband? He was right next to me just now. At this moment, Lean Ma is frantically collecting ghost orbs. Ha ha ha, I'm rich. This is the first time I've seen Wicked Spirit level ghost orbs. If I sell these on the market, I can easily make millions. Just then, Red Dressed Female Ghost gently embraces Lean Ma from behind. Husband, tonight we are having a victory feast for defeating Cursed Spirit Ghost. Come back to the ancient mansion with me. No, I can't. I have class tomorrow. Lean Ma shakes his head, feeling the softness on his back. Right now, all he's thinking about is collecting the ghost orbs. Hearing this, Red Dressed Female Ghost asks in confusion, How could you miss the victory feast? You're the one who helped me eliminate Cursed Spirit Ghost. Lean Ma responds irritably, Don't get it twisted. I fought Cursed Spirit Ghost purely for my own reasons. At this comment, Red Dressed Female Ghost's face turns coy. My husband is so annoying. Doing good but not admitting it. Watching Lean Ma walk away, Red Dressed Female Ghost waves and shouts, Remember to come back when you have time. I'll always be waiting for you in the ancient mansion. Finishing her sentence, Red Dressed Female Ghost's face turns coy again. He's indeed the man I set my eyes on. So focused on his studies, he really is ambitious. Meanwhile, the trio hiding in the bushes are completely stunned. Sun Ma can't believe what he's seeing in questions. Am I seeing this right? Did Lean Ma just kill a wicked spirit?
spirit level cursed spirit ghost? Gao Shershur is also trembling all over from the shock. Lin Ma managed to kill cursed spirit ghost with a single strike. It looks like his ghost sword is even more powerful than my ghost doll. Plus, he's unified the wilderness area with red dressed female ghost. This guy is simply unfathomable. Thinking of this, Gao Shershur takes out her phone. Lin Ma's strength has greatly increased, and he's colluding with a female ghost. I need to report this to my dad right away. Just then, Gao Shershur starts to hesitate. She remembers what happened at the hospital. Her dad lied to her mom and has another woman on the side. Do I really want to talk to such a scumbag? Seeing that Gao Shershur is unresponsive, Sun Lily urgently says, Captain, don't just stand there. The situation with Lin Ma is extremely urgent. You need to report it to the bureau immediately. Hearing this, Gao Shershur snaps back to reality. She immediately dials the number in her phone. The safety bureau is quickly shocked by the news, and an emergency meeting is convened that very night. Bureau Chief Gao Longshan speaks with a grim expression. According to reliable information, Lin Ma has unified the ghosts around Ares Academy. If he mobilizes them all, that would be an incredibly formidable ghost army. Saying this, Gao Longshan taps on the screen behind him. We've already confirmed that Lin Ma has contracted with four ghosts. The danger level of this individual has increased again. At his words, the agents all start to discuss among themselves, contracting with four ghosts. Even in Snow Phoenix Academy, that would be considered top-tier talent. At this point, Deputy Chief Sun Delhi is somewhat impatient. If you ask me, just arrest Lin Ma and interrogate him to find out everything. Why all this following and investigating? Hearing this, Gao Longshan erupts in anger. Arrest him? Lin Ma likely has powerful people backing him. Even the Eight Ghosts King Duan Chan Kuen is protecting him. Unless we have evidence to prove he's a remnant of the Seal Demon Kingdom, we can't even request military assistance. As soon as this is said, Sun Deli hastily asks, What should we do then? Are we just going to sit around and do nothing? After a moment of silence, Gao Longshan says with a grim face, All provincial colleges have a unified ghost domain trial. In previous years, we've chosen relatively simple areas. This time, we can raise the difficulty level. If Lin Ma participates, he will inevitably be in danger. Once his life is threatened, the powerful figures backing him will surely take action. That way, we'll have the evidence to request military assistance. Hearing this, Sun Deli immediately praises excitedly. The chief is truly wise. To think of using the ghost domain to indirectly deal with Lin Ma is ingenious. Where do you think we should locate this? Gao Longshan taps on a spot on the map. Let's set it here. Vast Wave City. Meanwhile, Lin Ma returns to the school, carrying a bunch of ghost orbs. As soon as he enters the main gate, he bumps into Jai Fong, who has been waiting for him. You caused quite a commotion tonight, didn't you? How did it go? Did you destroy the green corpse ghost's nest? Lin Ma shakes his head. No. Jai Fong sighs. Oh, so you haven't realized the sword ghost yet? No worries. Understanding a lost soul is not something that can be done overnight. Take your time. But the next second, Lin Ma directly pulls out a purple ghost orb. I didn't go to the green corpse ghost's nest. I destroyed the cursed spirit ghost's nest. Jai Fong is instantly in shock. Cursed spirit ghost is at the pinnacle of wicked spirits and even has an extremely troublesome heart-eating ghost subordinate, not to mention nearly a hundred various kinds of odd ghosts. How did you manage? Lin Ma smiles proudly. I had some ghost help, so I barely managed. If you can kill a cursed spirit ghost, it means you've realized the sword ghost. Yes, indeed. Saying this, he summons the sword and starts swinging it around. Jai Fong is shocked and thinks to himself, the cursed spirit ghost's nest is at least ten times more difficult than the green corpse ghost's nest. And to think, in less than three days, he's understood the lost soul of the sword ghost. This kid is a freak. After showing off the sword ghost, Lin Ma yawns. I'm going to head back. I've been tired all night. Watching Lin Ma's retreating figure, Shai Fong thinks about lighting a cigarette to calm his nerves. People say that I, as one of the eight ghosts king, am extraordinarily talented. But compared to this kid, I'm nothing. Little does he know. In his excitement, he's holding the cigarette backward. The next second, Shai Fong yelps as he gets burned. Damn it. Since when do cigarettes bite people? As soon as Lin Ma gets back to his dorm, he takes out the ghost orb of the cursed spirit ghost to cultivate. As his understanding of spiritual energy gradually improves, Lin Ma quickly breaks through to the second level of Ghost Master. I really have to thank the cursed spirit ghost. My ability to control contracted ghosts with precision has improved. There shouldn't be any more incidents of chainsaw ghost going berserk. With that thought, Lin Ma satisfyingly crawls into his bed. The most crucial benefit is, I can now level up my contracted ghosts again. Chainsaw ghost and blood pupiled ghost can be upgraded from malevolent spirits to evil spirits. Then I can activate a third skill for both of them. And let's not forget the pitiful big-breasted ghost. She is still at the malevolent spirit level. Considering this, Lin Ma can't resist the drowsiness anymore and falls asleep. The next day, as soon as the class starts, Shai Fong announces some shocking news. The location for the freshman ghost domain trial has been officially confirmed as Vast Wave City. As soon as this is announced, the whole class erupts. Has the safety bureau gone mad? There are so many ghosts there that are at the wicked spirit level. Even an elite ghost controlling squad might not make it back. Seeing such a strong reaction from the class, Shai Fong coughs twice to get everyone's attention. 
this trial isn't mandatory. You can choose to opt out. Moreover, Aries Academy only has five team slots. Teams can range from one to five people. If you're interested, come find me to sign up. Hearing this, Lean Ma props his chin up and starts thinking. Vast Wave City has become a complete ghost town. If I can kill ghosts and collect their orbs, I could make a lot of money. Shai Feng's cough interrupts Lean Ma's thoughts. Also, the chief inspector for this ghost domain trial will be Deputy Chief Sun Deli from the Safety Bureau. Hearing this, Lean Ma is shocked. Sun Deli, I can ask him for the antidote to enrance poison. Lean Ma nudges Acho with his elbow. Shall we team up? Then Lean Ma looks at Black Little Fat. Dubious intentions. Acho and I don't have any defensive contracted ghosts. After Black Little Fat's trash can ghost uses its hardening skill, it can serve as a decent tank. It could offer some protection when necessary. Having considered all this, Lean Ma asks, Black Little Fat, do you want to come along? I'm not going. Going to a place like that is worse than staying in the dorm and playing games. Upon hearing that, Lean Ma sneers. Look at you, lacking ambition. Didn't you just activate a skill a few days ago? Now your trash can ghost's defense has significantly increased. What are you afraid of? Hearing this, Black Little Fat replies, your provocation won't work, Lean Ma. I just want to slack off. At that moment, Lean Ma inadvertently glances at Black Little Fat's phone. Wow, you're watching action movies from the Home Tutor series? In that case, I have to offer a targeted incentive. With that thought, Lean Ma slowly took out his phone and then opened a list of romantic action movie videos and dangles it in front of Black Little Fat. How about this? If you come into the ghost domain with me, I'll share these resources with you. The next second, Black Little Fat's eyes light up. Whoa, a story about seven two-meter tall men and a soft girl? Lean Ma, let me see it now. Saying this, he hastily reaches out to grab the phone. Seeing this, Lean Ma quickly puts the phone away. Don't be so impatient. Once we enter the ghost domain, all of this will be yours. Upon hearing this, Black Little Fat immediately agrees. We have a deal. The moment we enter the ghost domain, you have to send it to me. Then Black Little Fat scans the classroom carefully. How about we find another girl to join us? Lean Ma, it's less tiring when you work with a mixed team. Hearing this, Lean Ma mockingly retorts, the girls in our school are all built like tanks. Is that really your type? Saying this, he wraps an arm around both Achio and Black Little Fat. All right, Black Little Fat, stop pondering aimlessly. It's just the three of us for this ghost domain trial. Near the end of class, Shai Fong announces one more thing. Any student who participates in this trial will be provided with a life insurance policy funded by the school. Upon hearing this, Black Little Fat's face turns pale with shock. Oh man, why are they even offering life insurance? Lin Ma, is it too late for me to back out now? After school, Lin Ma visits and ran in the medical room. As he talks about recent events, he peels an apple for Ran. I probably won't be able to visit you for a few days. I'm about to enter the ghost domain trial. Finishing his sentence, he hands the apple over. And Ran takes a big bite and then, puffing out her cheeks, asks, the ghost domain? Which one? Is it dangerous? In order to allay in Ran's fears, Lean Ma smiles and says it's not very risky. It's just a small haunted house in a small place. You can consider it a vacation for me. Unexpectedly, and Ran looks disappointed after hearing this. So it's not dangerous? Doesn't that mean there's nothing valuable to gain? Hearing this, Lean Ma is stunned. Wow, I guess my lie was completely unnecessary. So, you're only interested in the money, Miss and Ran? Thinking this, Lean Ma takes a bite of the apple and says, I heard from Wu Kuen that the chief inspector for this ghost domain trial is Safety Bureau's deputy director, Sun Deli. I'll find an opportunity to confront him and force him to give me the antidote for the poison. Saying this, he hands the apple back to Enran, and Ran looks at the apple with a face of disgust. I don't want it anymore. It's got your saliva all over it. Upon hearing this, Lean Ma quickly finishes the apple in a few bites. Seeing this, and Ran incredulously says, my saliva was still on it, and you just ate it like that? Lean Ma gives an indifferent expression. What's the big deal? I don't mind your saliva. Unexpectedly, and Ran looks at Lean Ma's if he's an idiot, but my saliva has the poison in it, you dummy. Upon hearing this, Lean Ma quickly spits out the apple he had eaten. Oh man, why didn't you say that earlier? Seeing Lean Ma's slightly comical expression, and Ran can't help but burst into a silver bell-like laughter. Ha ha, how was I to know you'd eat it so fast? Meanwhile, this entire scene is witnessed by Gao Shershir, who is hiding outside, listening to their laughter after from the medical room, her feelings gradually become complicated. Isn't Ran really my half-sister? Later, Lean Ma visits the library to gather some information, then returns to the dorm to study it closely. What are you looking at? Lean Ma, is it a Victoria's Secret supermodel album or something? Hearing this, Lean Ma hits Black Little Fat on the head with the booklet. Your mind is in the gutter. You're always thinking about these things. Saying this, Lean Ma opens the booklet in his hand. This is a detailed map of vast wave ghost domain that I spent days finding. It even has every street and alley clearly marked. Hearing Black Black Little Fat ask why he needs it. Lean Ma looks at him as if he's an idiot. Are you stupid? The map from the safety bureau is nowhere as detailed as this. They only mark safe zones and the positions of ghosts. This one even has the locations of all the banks marked. Upon hearing this, Black Little Fat's eyes widen. Even Achio, who's been sharpening a knife, can't help but comment. Smart. After all, everyone knows what's inside a bank. Achio only charges five bucks for a haircut. If he walks out of
of a bank with two bags. He'll probably have enough money for haircuts for eight lifetimes. At this point, Lean Ma continues, ghosts aren't interested in money, so there's a good chance the money is still in the bank. Hearing this, Black Little Fat turns and walks out. You're right, Lean Ma. I'm going to the supermarket to buy three pairs of black stockings. Lean Ma looks surprised. What do you need stockings for? In movies, don't they always wear masks when robbing a bank? Hearing Black Little Fat's response, both Lean Ma and Achio look at him as if he's an idiot. Once again, soon, the day of the ghost domain trial arrives. Unexpectedly, only three teams from Aries Academy sign up, one of which is made up of three exchange students from Snow Phoenix Academy. At this time, the person in charge of the ghost domain, Sun Delhi, begins to speak. The ghost domain trial will last for five days. The safety bureau will score you based on the number and strength of the ghosts you kill. The top 30 teams will receive corresponding rewards, and the higher the score, the better the reward. At this point, Sun Delhi suddenly becomes serious. I'd like to remind you all, this ghost domain trial is different from the previous ones. You will not have teleportation talismans for escaping. Upon hearing this, the students in the audience immediately look worried. Is this a trial or a death game? Without teleportation talismans, what if we encounter high-level ghosts? Hearing the chatter among the crowd, Lean Ma guesses that it's not that the safety bureau doesn't want to provide talismans, but that these talismans only work within specific magic circles, and Vast Wave City is simply too large for the safety bureau to set up such a circle. At this moment, Sun Delhi suddenly shouts, Think carefully, everyone, there's still time to withdraw. Hearing this, a mushroom-headed student nervously raises his hand, stuttering, he says, I want to withdraw. His teammates hear this and immediately grab his collar. You coward, the ghost trial hasn't even started and you want to quit? Do you know that if you do this, our whole team will have to withdraw? However, the mushroom-headed student breaks free from his teammates' grasp. You fool, going in without a teleportation talisman is a death sentence. I don't want to risk my life. In an instant, quite a few teams opt to withdraw, with the number of teams participating in the ghost domain greatly reduced. Sun Delhi reveals a smug smile. It seems the students who remain are true heroes. Now go get your supplies, and regroup here afterward. When he sees Lean Ma appear at the entrance, Sun Delhi's smug expression intensifies. As expected, the remnants of the Seal Demon Kingdom are acting according to our plan. A rumbling noise is heard, and the iron gate to the ghost domain opens in front of everyone. As all the students enter, the next second, the Vast Wave Ghost Domain trial officially begins. Their location is outside the suburbs of Vast Wave City, surrounded by dilapidated buildings, covered in talismans written in cinnabar ink. Even the roads beneath them are piled with debris. Every few steps produce the sound of breaking bones. At this moment, Black Little Fat asks, Lean Ma, are we heading directly to the bank? Acho beside him suggests waiting. The number of ghosts in the city will definitely be more than in the suburbs. Whoever goes in first is likely to die first. Lean Ma, pointing at the map, says, We are currently on the eastern outskirts of Vast Wave City. There's a village ahead. How about we go there first to scout the situation? Acho nods in agreement. I have no issues with that. What do you think, Black Little Fat? Upon hearing this, Black Little Fat responds with concern. All I ask for is a decent place to sleep. Just look at the sky. It seems like it's going to rain. We should hurry and take shelter in the village. The three of them immediately quicken their pace, and soon reach the outskirts of the village. At this point, Black Little Fat points ahead and says, Look, someone got here before us. They see three men and a woman entering a large mansion in the distance. Seeing them go in, Lean Ma gives a sly smile. He was preparing to have them scout the way for him, watching all four of them go inside. Lean Ma assumes they plan to make this their camp for the night, so he starts observing with Achio and Black Little Fat. Let them scout ahead for us. Seeing that nothing has happened to them after they went in, Lean Ma concludes that there are no ghosts in this village. We can safely stay here for the night. Saying this, Lean Ma points to a small, run-down courtyard at the entrance of the village. This will do. We can make do with this for the night. Seeing this, Black Little Fat is somewhat displeased. Lean Ma, this place is way too shabby. Since they chose a mansion, why can't we? Moreover, with so many houses around, why did you pick the most run-down one? Upon hearing this, Acho steps forward and pats Black Little Fat on the shoulder. Don't judge a book by its cover. This might actually be the best place here. Hearing this, Lean Ma, who is walking ahead, chuckles. Acho really gets me. This reaction leaves Black Little Fat even more confused, and he can only follow along, puzzled. Seeing Acho take out a cloth to start cleaning, Black Little Fat realizes they are determined to stay here. So he asks, what's so good about this place? While wiping the table, Acho responds, this courtyard is right next to the entrance of the village. If we encounter a wave of ghosts, we can escape at the first opportunity, without getting trapped and surrounded in the village. Black Little Fat casually sits on the table that Acho just wiped, showing an expression of sudden realization. So that's how it is. Meanwhile, Lean Ma takes out some compressed biscuits and starts eating. Let's have some biscuits to replenish our energy. We can explore the village later to see if there are any dangerous ghosts. He then distributes the biscuits to Black Little Fat and Achio. The safety bureau sure is stingy. These compressed biscuits will last at most four days. But for someone with an appetite like Black Little Fat, it would be good to last three days. Just then, a student from another academy appears.
approaches. Hello, I'm Lakuan from Wind Riding Academy. We managed to sneak some meat in. Would you like some to satisfy your cravings? As he speaks, Lakuan shows the several pounds of cooked meat in his hands. Seeing this, Lin Ma and Acho immediately become alert, being overly kind without a reason. This guy definitely has something up his sleeve. Unexpectedly, Black Little Fat, upon seeing the meat, immediately approaches. Hi, I'm Black Little Fat from Aries Academy. Your meat looks good. Lakuan then offers the meat. Then this is for you. Consider it a friendship gift. Just as Black Little Fat is about to take it, Lin Ma blocks him. Although wary in his heart, Lin Ma still puts on a friendly facade. Making friends is great, but how did you bring this meat in? Acho also voices his doubt. If I remember correctly, all cell phones and food were confiscated before entering the ghost domain. Lakuan reassures them with a pat on his chest. Don't worry, I secretly sewed an inner pocket in my clothes. That's where I kept the meat. Lin Ma continues to inquire. Such an action would be considered cheating and disqualify you from the trial. Why are you telling us this? And why offer such a generous gift? Lakuan responds sincerely. To be honest, I do need your help. If ghosts appear tonight, you guys at the entrance of the village will notice first. Please inform us when that happens. This meat is just a token of my appreciation. Hearing this, Lin Ma takes the meat. Rest assured Lakuan. If ghosts appear, we'll definitely alert you. Seeing this, Lakuan happily turns to leave. Then it's settled. I'll be going now. Once Wakuin has left, Black Little Fat looks at the meat on the table, losing his composure. Lin Ma, let's divide this meat quickly. I'm salivating just looking at it. But Lin Ma looks serious and says, Ah Chio, check if there's anything wrong with this meat. Seeing Ah Chio mercilessly stab the meat with a knife, Black Little Fat expresses his concern. What are you guys doing? Lin Ma makes a shushing gesture. Unwarranted generosity? Isn't that like a weasel paying a visit to the chicken during the new year? At this point, Ah Chio takes a sniff at the knife. The meat doesn't seem poisonous, but something feels off. It's a bit too fragrant. Hearing this, Black Little Fat immediately picks up the meat and is about to shove it in his mouth. If it's not poisonous, that's good enough. When has meat ever not been fragrant? Just then, the blood pupiled ghost inside Lin Ma suddenly speaks. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the flesh of a flesh forest ghost. Acho breaks into a cold sweat upon hearing this. So that's it. Flesh forest ghost is a type of ghost that manipulates the mind. If you eat its flesh, you'll be under its control for some time. Acho then looks at Lin Ma. I was careless earlier. Thank goodness your blood pupiled ghost detected it, or we would have fallen into the trap. Hearing this, Black Little Fat's face is also filled with shock. We have no grudges against them. Why would they want to harm us? After saying this, Black Little Fat cautiously tosses the meat aside. Lin Ma clenches his fists in anger and says, if they had managed to control us, we would likely be used as cannon fodder to scout ahead, making things much safer for them. As he speaks, Lin Ma's expression suddenly turns grim. It seems that tonight, it's either them or us who will perish. With that said, Lin Ma suggests that the person must be nearby, so let's pretend to eat the meat. Damn, this meat is too good. I dare say it's even better than the barbecue in the city. Hearing the sounds of admiration coming from the room, Wakuin, hiding in the corner, suddenly looks grim. As expected, Ares Academy is full of idiots. They fell for my tricks so easily. Excellent. When danger comes, I'll use the three of them as tools. Soon, Lin Ma and the others drift into sleep, and the entire room is filled with the sound of Black Little Fat snoring. Just then, a rapid gong sound suddenly comes from the distance. Lin Ma instantly opens his eyes, while Acho grips his razor tightly. Who's putting on a play out there? At the same time, a stage suddenly appears in the center of the village, with a ghost leading lady in red and a ghost martial actor standing on it. The ghost leading lady sings shrilly. Yama decrees death at the third watch of the night. Then the ghost martial actor swings his long knife and chimes in. Who will keep me until the fifth watch? Seeing this, Achio's face is instantly filled with a look of shock. This is a ghost play. It's a ritual for seizing human souls. Meanwhile, in a distant mansion, Wakun points to the far-off scene and says to the female team leader, Why don't we let those three scapegoats go and die? They can clear the path for us. The female team leader agrees. You're right, let them deal with those two ghosts first. After saying this, the female team leader extends her arm. In the next moment, a ghost covered in fleshy tumors is summoned. The female team leader then uses her mental power to manipulate the flesh forest ghost to use its skill. At this moment, Lin Ma speaks. They've made their move. Let's pretend to be controlled to teach them a lesson. Upon hearing this, Acho turns to Black Little Fat and advises. That ghost leading lady's singing is probably a controlling skill. Try not to listen if you can. Hearing this, Black Little Fat is somewhat speechless. Listen to what you're saying. Can I control my ears not to hear? Lin Ma responds calmly. Don't worry, I have a way. Soon, the three of them arrive beneath the stage. Lin Ma claps his hands and shouts loudly. The leading lady is so beautiful, while Black Little Fat looks at the stage, trying to keep his composure despite his nervousness. After all, the performers are ghosts. Just then, the people hiding behind the mansion snort coldly. These three are so stupid, clapping even as death approaches. Hearing this, the female team leader has a triumphant expression. The plan is working. Whether they're human or ghost, they're all in the palm of my hand thanks to my flesh forest ghost. Upon hearing this, Wakuin shows a worried look, but the ghost putting on the play doesn't seem as strong as the rumors say. Look at the three of them. They're fine. 
even their souls haven't been hooked away. Hearing this, the female team leader sneers. I think so too. Since the ghost isn't that strong, let's beat them to it and kill those two ghosts first. With that, the female team leader gives an order and immediately leads her team to charge forward. Seeing four people and one ghost charging towards her, the ghost leading lady suddenly opens her cherry lips. Three souls and seven spirits come, accompanied by melodramatic music. Everyone's eardrums suddenly quake and even their minds start to wander. Cover your ears. We're going to be controlled by the ghost play. Despite the female team leader's loud warning, they are all drawn by a powerful force toward the stage. At this moment, the ghost martial actor raises his big knife and charges. Look out! Seeing this, a crew cut team member tries to dodge, but his movements have been slowed by the ghost leading lady's skill. With a splatter, one of the crew cut's arms is instantly severed. Holy crap! They added more drama. This performance is just like the real thing. Lean Ma below the stage is clapping excitedly. Seeing this, the female team leader casts an incredulous look. This doesn't make sense. Why weren't they drawn up to the stage? Just then, she notices wet cotton stuffed in Lean Ma's ears. Holy crap! The three of them weren't controlled by the flesh forest ghost at all. We've been had. What the hell are you all waiting for? Quickly summon your contracted ghosts. Let's all make a run for it. With the female team leader's command, Wakulin and the others simultaneously summon, and in an instant, corpse-eating ghost, bandaged ghost, and starved ghost appear, immediately surrounding the ghost martial actor. Due to their numerical advantage, ghost martial actor is quickly at a disadvantage. Seeing this, Lin Ma anxiously shouts from below the stage, Are you kidding me? You call ganging up on someone's skill? If you're capable, go one-on-one. -on -one. As soon as these words are out, the people on the stage who are hard at work controlling their contracted ghosts are immediately thrown off. Could you please shut up? You're just making things worse. Why don't you come up and duel them yourself? However, Lin Ma completely ignores them and immediately shouts at the stage. What are you doing? Ghost leading lady, hurry up and help. This sudden reminder leaves ghost leading lady stunned. Oh my god, he's actually an ally. Coming to her senses, ghost leading lady starts to sing, and a continuous flow of ghost energy is channeled into ghost martial actor. At the same time, the previously struggling ghost martial actor suddenly regains his spirit, wielding his long knife mightily, and the surrounding contracted ghosts are immediately sent flying. Seeing this, Lin Ma's eyes light up. This ghost leading lady seems to specialize in control and support. Perfect since I have two more contract slots. Why not take these two ghosts under my wing? At this moment, the ghost martial actor on the stage is becoming more and more ferocious. With a swift slash of his long sword, he strikes forcefully ahead. Seeing this, Flesh Forest Ghost bends down to gather energy and charges straight towards Ghost Martial Actor. However, Ghost Martial Actor reacts instantly, easily dodging Flesh Forest Ghost's attack with a Swallow Source maneuver. Unable to stop in time, Flesh Forest Ghost's head but lands harshly on Bandaged Ghost's chest. At this moment, Ghost Martial Actor teleports, arriving instantly behind Starved Ghost, swings his sword horizontally, and chops off Starved Ghost's head with a splat. Due to the sudden death of the contracted ghost, one person is immediately gripped by a painful backlash clutching his throat. Captain, save me. Watching Ghost Martial Actor overpower the enemy with fewer numbers, Lin Ma can't help but shout excitedly. Good skills, good moves. You're truly worthy of being the ghost I'm about to contract. Stop focusing on the one with the sword. Everyone, focus fire on Ghost Leading Lady. If we kill her, we can break free from her control. Hearing the female team leader's battle plan, Wakulin beside her responds with a got it, and then he directs Corpse Eating Ghost to turn and attack Ghost Leading Lady. The team battle can be lost, but the support must die. Seeing this, Ghost martial actor wants to help. Bandaged ghost blocks his path. However, with just a single cut, the strong bandaged ghost is cut in half. Where are you running to? Ghost martial actor's speed is incredibly fast. In a flash, he appears behind corpse-eating ghost, who is immediately drenched in a cold sweat. Before he can react, with a splat sound, ghost martial actor's long sword pierces through corpse-eating ghost's head. Due to the killing of the contracted ghost, Wakulin suddenly coughs up blood and falls to the ground. Now only the female team leader remains on the stage. Seeing ghost martial actor approaching with his blood dripping long sword. The female team leader becomes panicked and shouts, don't come any closer, though she wishes to control her contracted ghosts with her mind to save the situation. Headless ghost and flesh forest ghost are already severely injured, lying on the ground gasping for air. In a desperate bid for survival, the female team leader shouts towards Lin Ma below the stage, please, save me. If you save me, I'll give you my most precious thing. After saying this, she starts kowtowing frantically towards Lin Ma. Her dignity is the last thing on her mind. She just wants to survive. Survive. However, Lin Ma, with his ears stuffed with wet cotton, responds, What did you say? You want to fight ten ghost martial actors? As soon as his words fall, the female team leader's head flies off. The last thing she sees before her consciousness fades is Lin Ma's slightly raised corner of the mouth. After the drama ends, Lin Ma below the stage starts clapping again. This performance was so realistic, it felt as if it was actually happening. However, ghost martial actor and ghost leading lady exchange glances and then walk menacingly toward him. Seeing this, Lin Ma drops the axe.
and then stretches his arm and clicks. You two have been performing for me for quite a while. Now it's my turn to give you a show. He's up to something. Upon seeing this, ghost leading lady cautiously stepped back a few steps. There was a loud crash. A massive chainsaw suddenly swung towards ghost martial actor. Due to the disparity in strength, chainsaw ghost made an entrance putting ghost martial actor at a disadvantage. Seeing this, ghost leading lady immediately began to sing. I'm feeling a bit off today. Challenge my face, and I'll give you a snip. As ghost leading lady continued to chant, streams of ghost energy emanated from her, quickly entering ghost martial actor's body. Suddenly, the previously overwhelmed ghost martial actor became much stronger, and was now matching chainsaw ghost blow for blow. Even though both were of malevolent spirit ghost level, in terms of power, chainsaw ghost still had the upper hand. At this moment, ghost martial actor suddenly yelled and pushed hard. With loud shouts, he forced chainsaw ghost to continuously step back. Right then, ghost martial actor spotted Lin Ma nearby. Capture the leader to get the followers. Insult the mother to insult someone. Immediately, ghost martial actor fainted with his knife and shifted to the right. Then, with a burst of speed, he used a snake-like maneuver to bypass chainsaw ghost from the left. With a swift motion, his long knife thrust towards Lin Ma's face. Such agility, worthy of being the ghost I've set my sights on. At this moment, Lin Ma, unfazed by the attack, quickly summoned the sword ghost, preparing to unleash the skill, one sword to extinguish souls. There was a loud clang, as the ghost energy from the sword ghost collided with the long knife. In an instant, ghost martial actor's hand trembled, almost dropping his weapon. However, since one sword to extinguish souls ignores armor, ghost martial actor was promptly knocked to the ground with a thud. Looking at the calm-faced Lin Ma, ghost martial actor realized he was now facing a true expert. This young man was not like the other four. Not only was his ghost master level one notch higher, but his contracted ghost was also absurdly powerful. At that moment, Lin Mo raised his ghost sword again. Let me show you what I'm capable of. After saying this, he activated the skill one sword to eliminate evil. Lin Ma then quickly lunged forward, with the ghost energy on the ghost sword surging out, aiming straight for ghost martial actor's face. With a loud thud, ghost martial actor was struck and sent flying backward. Even his theatrical costume was torn apart by the fierce sword energy. Seeing this scene, ghost leading lady grew frantic, wanting to chant again to restore ghost martial actor's condition. So, she quickly dashed towards ghost martial actor. However, at this moment, Lin Ma's big-breasted ghost made her move. With the sound of a piano playing, ghost leading lady suddenly clutched her chest in pain. A strong sense of dizziness made her unsteady, and just as she was about to fall, Lin Ma quickly stepped forward, catching ghost leading lady in his arms. Little sister, you're quite pretty, Lin Ma remarked, feeling the softness against his chest and inhaling the scent of ghost leading lady. You beast, release my junior sister at once, shouted ghost martial actor, who was lying on the ground, desperately wishing he could rise and stab Lin Ma. Unexpectedly, Chainsaw Ghost had anticipated this and sat directly on him. Within moments, the weight of four to five hundred pounds rendered Ghost Martial Actor immobile. Lin Ma, on the other hand, had a smirk on his face. It's time to make them emotionally collapse and then forcibly form a contract. Pointing in the distance, Lin Ma asked the ghost leading lady in his arms, Missy, is that rough guy your senior brother? Are you two a couple? Upon hearing this, ghost leading lady, in her anger, turned her head away. Why does it matter to you? What's it to you? However, Lin Ma was persistent. He lifted ghost leading lady's chin with one hand, while the other tightly wrapped around her waist. How can it not concern me? Isn't it a waste for someone as beautiful as you to be with him? If you were with me, I promise to make you happy and comfortable every day. Hearing Lin Ma's brazen words, ghost leading lady exploded in anger on the spot. You despicable rogue. I'll die with you. Ghost leading lady's emotional collapse has reached 10%. 89% more is needed to directly form a contract. The next second, ghost leading lady forcefully broke free from Lin Ma's embrace and reached out to strangle him. At this moment, Chainsaw Ghost loudly placed his chainsaw in front of Ghost Martial Actor, his posture seeming to say, if you dare touch Lin Ma, Ghost Martial Actor will be in danger. Seeing this, Ghost Leading Lady's hand, which was reaching out to Lin Ma, stopped. She was faced with a dilemma. Her enemy was in front, but she couldn't act while her lover was behind, and she couldn't save him. Tears started forming in Ghost Leading Lady's eyes. You despicable coward, she cursed. However, Lin Ma was unfazed. Am I despicable? I'm just cherishing you. He didn't really want to do this, but did so to make Ghost Leading Lady emotionally collapse. Lin Ma then grabbed Ghost Leading Lady's hand. What a beautiful pair of hands. It's a shame they're wasted with your useless senior brother, exposed to the elements every day. Such a pity. After saying this, Lin Ma moved his face closer to hers. He puckered his lips, though not actually kissing her, but he did touch Ghost Leading Lady's cheek with his hand. Ghost Leading Lady's emotional collapse has reached 30%. 69% more is needed to directly form a contract. You bastard. Release my junior sister now. Ghost Martial Actor shouted, furiously punching the ground. Ghost Martial Actor's emotional collapse has reached 69%. 30% more is needed to form a contract. This notification took Lin Ma by surprise. Damn it, wasn't I just teasing Ghost Leading Lady? Why did Ghost Martial Actor's 
emotional collapse increase even faster. With that in mind, Lean Ma took a step towards Ghost Leading Lady and pressed her down. Let me guess, you still have your first kiss, don't you? Seeing Ghost Leading Lady's blushing face, Lean Ma let out a beastly laugh. The next moment, he tightly embraced Ghost Leading Lady and attempted a kiss, though he didn't actually kiss her. From Ghost Martial Actor's perspective, it looked as if his beloved junior sister's first kiss was ruthlessly stolen by another. This was something he had always dreamt of. Ghost Martial Actor's emotional collapse has reached 99%. Option to forcibly form a contract is now available. Upon hearing the prompt, Lean Ma didn't hesitate. Sign it now. At that moment, a voice echoed in Ghost Martial Actor's mind. Ghost Martial Actor, do you wish to become Mr. Lean Ma's contracted ghost? Are you willing to serve him for eternity to be his slave and do his bidding? Upon hearing this, Ghost Martial Actor exploded in rage. You dare to take my junior sister's first kiss in front of me, and now you want me to serve you forever? That's impossible. I refuse. It was just a casual question. I wasn't really seeking your opinion. Who the hell cares if you're willing or not? Contract is currently being formed. As the successful contract formation sound echoed, even though Ghost Martial Actor was still struggling, the next second he transformed into a stream of ghost energy and directly attached to Lean Ma's arm. Seeing her senior brother vanish in the blink of an eye, Ghost Leading Lady became agitated. Where's my senior brother? Where did you take him? Seeing Ghost Leading Lady's distress, Lean Ma smirked and tugged at her clothing, revealing her fair and delicate shoulders. He doesn't want you anymore. Why don't you just follow me from now on? Ghost Leading Lady, always having protected her purity, was not able to handle such audacity and was quickly pushed to emotional collapse by Lean Ma's actions. Ghost Leading Lady's emotional collapse has reached 80%, only 19% more to go for a direct contract. Without Ghost Martial Actor by her side, she had no real means to defend herself and could only try to dodge Lean Ma's advances. Do you know what kind of meat I like the most? The meat close to your heart, he said, leaning in close. These cheesy pickup lines nearly made Ghost Leading Lady vomit. She quickly turned her head away, shouting, Stop it! Under the dual assault of losing her senior brother and enduring these cringeworthy lines, Ghost Leading Lady soon reached a complete emotional breakdown. Ghost Leading Lady's emotional collapse is now at 99%. You can now choose to forcibly form a contract. Upon hearing this, Lean Ma snapped his fingers. Now's the time. Sign it for me. A voice echoed in Ghost Leading Lady's mind. Forget about your senior brother. Becoming Lean Ma's contracted ghost is the honor of your lifetime. He will bring you unparalleled happiness, making you the most cherished contracted ghost. Do you accept? Ghost Leading Lady, with her hands over her ears, violently shook her head. I won't accept. Return my senior brother to me now. No, you do want this. You're just denying it with words. You're lying to yourself. Upon hearing the contract prompt, Ghost Leading Lady screamed in anguish. The next second, she too turned into a stream of ghost energy, and with a swift motion, attached to Lean Ma's arm. Observing the newly appeared hairpin pattern on his arm, Lean Ma smirked and said dreamily, one step closer to my goal of contracting a billion ghosts. At this point, six patterns already adorned his arm. From within, Ghost Martial Actor shouted furiously, release me at once, give me back my junior sister. Ghost Martial Actor's loyalty has decreased by 5%, now at 2%. Hearing this, Lean Ma started to panic. Bro, calm down. First of all, I have no ill intentions towards your beloved junior your sister. And now, she's also become my contracted ghost. From now on, you two can be together forever. You don't have to worry about her being taken away anymore. As he finished, Ghost Leading Lady called out softly, Senior Brother. Seeing this, Ghost Martial Actor's anger considerably subsided. That's great, Junior Sister. You're here too. So, we are still together. Ghost Martial Actor's loyalty increased by 5%. Now at 7%. Ghost Leading Lady's loyalty increased by 10%. Now at 12%. However, this joyous reunion only lasted for 3 seconds. Ghost Martial Actor suddenly shouted at Lean Ma. I remembered. You dared to force a kiss on my junior sister. Lean Ma, feigning innocence, responded. How could I, a man of honor and integrity, take what belongs to someone else? If you don't believe me, ask your junior sister. At this, Ghost Leading Lady, blushing, nestled into Ghost Martial Actor's embrace. He actually didn't kiss me. Thinking about it now, he was just putting on a show in order to contract us. Hearing this, relief washed over Ghost Martial Actor. So that's what happened. You should have clarified earlier. Ghost Martial Actor's loyalty increased by 20%, now at 27%. Hearing the prompt, Lean Ma stroked his chin. It increased that much? It seems Ghost Leading Lady is Ghost Martial Actor's Achilles heel. If I can win her over, then I'll have Ghost Martial Actor right where I want him. With this thought, Lean Ma said to Ghost Leading Lady, This place is so desolate, not a soul in sight. Are you two performing for the air? If you follow me, I'll take you to places teeming with people. They'll be able to appreciate the celestial voice of Miss Ghost Leading Lady. Hearing this, Ghost Leading Lady immediately expressed her agreement excitedly. Seeing this, Ghost Martial Actor gave a thumbs up. Wherever you go, Junior Sister, I'll follow. I'll always listen to you. Seeing the loyalty of the two ghosts increase once more, Lean Ma couldn't help but smirk. Got them. After recalling Big Breasted Ghost and Chainsaw Ghost, Lean Ma and the group quickly arrived inside the village mansion. 
black little fat was seen happily holding a bag of food, exclaiming, Now we've managed to get the rations of four more people. We'll have plenty to eat for the trials in the coming days. Acho nodded in response. The two weak ghosts left in the village. We took care of them on our way back. Just then, Lin Ma yawned. The ghost town, which neither the army nor the elite ghost master squad could clear. Thinking that we students can handle it is just wishful thinking. Before we venture into the city, we should engage in some guerrilla warfare and take down as many ghosts as possible. Having said that, he picked up his backpack and started to head outside. Seeing this, Acho asked, Are you sleeping? Lin Mo replied, Who knows what tough battles await us tomorrow. I should take this time to level up my contracted ghosts. Hearing this, Acho was taken aback. This kid is not only stronger than me, but also more diligent. I need to step up my training too. Soon, Lin Mo reached the backyard. He pulled out three ghost beads from his bag. Essential items for a ghost master's training. These beads could not only increase the level of contracted ghosts, but also speed up their healing process. Immediately after, Lin Ma summoned the big-breasted ghost with a swipe of his left arm, thinking it would be a good time for an upgrade. Without hesitation, he grabbed the ghost beads from the table and threw them directly at big-breasted ghost, commanding, quickly absorb all of these. As big-breasted ghost began to assimilate the ghost energy from the beads, system prompts began ringing out in quick succession. She leveled up, becoming an advanced malevolent spirit. Upon completion of the upgrade, big-breasted ghost's raven black hair fluttered in the air, and her delicate face looked even more enchanting. However, Lin Ma stared intently at Big Breasted Ghost's prominent assets, eyes gleaming. It seems they've grown considerably larger. Does it grow every time she levels up? If she advances to a Ghost King level, won't they? He chuckled mischievously to himself, snapping out of his thoughts with a cough. Better focus on the task at hand. He then opened the panel for Big Breasted Ghost. The main priority now is to activate the skill. After deducting 500 emotional collapse points, a system prompt sounded, successfully exchanged for Big Breasted Ghost's second skill. Received skill. The lingering sound around the beams. When playing the soul captivating zither music, it reduces the spiritual energy of ghost masters within the sound range. Cool down, 120 seconds. After reading the description, Lin Ma immediately praised it. It can actually weaken spiritual power and restrict the opponent's skill usage. This supportive skill is indeed great. Lin Ma then satisfiedly retracted Big Breasted Ghost back into his body. Next, he took the heavy backpack and poured out all the ghost beads from within. These ghost beads varied in shapes and sizes, ranging from weak tombstone ghost beads to the powerful heart eating ghost beads. Lin Ma smirked and said, blood pupiled ghost, little brother, I am about to give you a big gift. In the next moment, the ghost beads on the table began emitting eerie ghost energy, which like threads of blue smoke, entered Lin Ma's right eye. With the system's continuous announcements, the level of the blood pupiled ghost was instantly elevated to evil spirit. Lin Ma felt a sharp pain in his right eye. The originally two-ringed blood pupil had turned into three rings. He then looked around and found not only was his vision further enhanced, but he also gained a stronger penetrative ability. He could even clear clearly see Achio's inhalation of ghost energy through the nose, its dispersal into the lungs, and then its spread through the meridians and acupoints. Seeing this, Lin Ma's lips curved in excitement. Isn't this a bit too overpowering? The blood-pupiled ghost, sensing the considerable increase in power, also couldn't help but get excited. Excellent, excellent. I feel like I can now take down two bulls with a single punch. Hearing this, Lin Ma teased. Don't get too excited. The real surprise is yet to come. He then clicked on the third skill of blood-pupiled ghost. After deducting 1,000 points, the system prompt confirmed the successful unlocking blood curse. Within a 50 meter range, you can mark enemies with a blood curse stamp. After continuously losing blood for 10 seconds, it can be detonated. The explosion causes true damage, ignoring armor and magical resistance. Upon seeing this, Lin Ma swung his arm in excitement, exclaiming, this skill is freaking awesome. Not only does it consume little spiritual energy and has no cooldown, even facing a horde of ghosts wouldn't be a problem. At this moment, blood pupiled ghost patted Lin Ma in satisfaction and said, kid, I I rarely thank anyone, but today is an exception. Blood pupiled ghost's loyalty increased by 15%. Seeing the loyalty of blood pupiled ghost reach 99%, Lin Ma knew this meant the ghost would never betray him. However, the other ghosts will sooner or later be bound by my eternal contract. The next morning, Lin Ma and his team casually ate some biscuits before immediately leaving the village to head towards the city. However, they hadn't gone far when they saw a few injured lackeys rushing towards them, shouting, Hurry up, guys. The corpse eating ghost horde is right behind us. I don't know what the heck the safety bureau is thinking. Vast Wave City is filled with malevolent spirit-level ghosts, yet they let us students come here for trials. Upon seeing this, Lin Ma quickly stopped one of them and asked, How many are in the corpse-eating ghost horde you mentioned? Over a hundred, I guess. Brother, you better run as well. This place is no place for humans. I suggest you hide and wait for the trial to end before coming out. Hearing this, both Lin Ma and Achio's eyes lit up with excitement. Holy crap, over a hundred ghosts means over a hundred ghost beats. Saying this, the two of them quickly picked up their bags, saying, hurry, hurry, what if we get there late and others have already
already killed them. They then sprinted towards the city area. Wait for me. You too, slow down. The left behind black little fat quickly tried to keep pace. Seeing this, the bandaged man was utterly baffled by Lin Mo's reaction. What the hell? Are these three in a rush to be reincarnated? Why are they so eager? They know the dangers, but are still rushing in. Soon, Lin Ma and Achio ran straight into the corpse-eating ghost horde. These ghosts, who hadn't tasted human flesh in Vast Wave City for years, saw the two humans running towards them and roared, charging at them. He, this large wave of ghost hordes is like a treasure trove. Seeing this, Lin Ma sped up, surpassing Achio in a flash. But Achio, not willing to be left behind, closely followed him. He always thought he was the greedy one, but he didn't expect someone to be even more reckless for treasures. Not wanting to fall behind Lin Ma, Achio shouted, summoning the shadow ghost. The next second, a pitch black shadow spread beneath his feet, morphing and shifting until it took the form of a grim reaper wielding a scythe. With a swift motion, Achio slashed with his razor, and the shadow beneath him did the same with its scythe. With a splattering sound, the leading dozen or so corpse-eating ghosts were instantly sliced in half, as Achio's razor danced in his hand, and the shadow ghost's scythe slashed with equal fervor. The remnants of the corpse-eating ghosts filled the air. In no time, Achio had eradicated almost half of the ghost horde. Witnessing this, Lin Ma couldn't help but praise. This shadow ghost is so powerful. I should contract one if I get the chance. However, he wasn't to be outdone. He invoked his sword ghost and summoned both the chainsaw ghost and ghost martial actor. With his two ghosts by his side, he plunged straight into the ghost horde. Due to Achio's ferocity, the surrounding corpse-eating ghosts shifted their focus and began to swarm towards Lin Ma, planning to take out this seemingly weaker opponent first. But as they got close, the leading corpse-eating ghost was instantly slain by Lin Ma's sword. His two contracted ghosts were even more formidable, each swing taking down a swath of corpse-eating ghosts. In a blink of an eye, the two ghosts, one on each side, mowed down the surrounding corpse-eating ghosts as if they were simply cutting grass. Suddenly, Lin Ma frowned. My killing speed seems slower than Achio's. This won't do. As he saw three corpse-eating ghosts charging towards him, a thought flashed through Lin Ma's mind. He dramatically widened his blood-pupiled right eye and promptly unleashed the newly acquired skill, blood curse. The next second, a blood eye mark appeared on the bodies of the surrounding corpse-eating ghosts. As they looked at their chests in confusion, Lin Ma had already started a countdown. After a brief ten seconds, Lin Ma snapped his fingers and shouted loudly, Explode for me! The moment he finished speaking, those marked corpse-eating ghosts exploded on the spot, leaving them mangled and torn. Following that, Lin Ma and Achio, controlling their contracted ghosts, began the harvest. In an instant, the place resembled a slaughterhouse, with the ground littered with ghost beads dropped by the dead corpse-eating ghosts. Witnessing this scene, the students who had initially fled turned their heads back in disbelief. Damn it, what's happening here? Who exactly are the ghosts? The young minds of the students were heavily shocked. We're all freshmen, but these two are freakishly overpowered. Their group of over 30 students was scattered and disorganized by the ghost tide, yet these two seemed to revel in ghost slaying, especially their facial expressions, which seemed even more excited than the ghosts upon seeing humans. At this moment, a student approached Black Little Fat and asked, Aren't you part of their team? Why didn't you help just now? Unexpectedly, Black Little Fat responded with a sinister look. These small fries? I left them to my two subordinates. I only deal with the final boss. Hearing this, admiration shown in the eyes of the onlookers. My apologies. So you're the hidden boss of the team. However, right at that moment, Lin Ma, who was still cleaning the battlefield, shouted back, Fatty, stop standing there like a fool. Hurry up and help us pick up the ghost beats. Upon hearing this, Black Little Fat immediately scurried over like an obedient grandson. All right, Brother Lin Ma, I'm coming right away. Seeing this, the group of students was left dumbfounded. Damn, is this how the boss is treated? It's just like doing chores. Meanwhile, in the heart of Vast Wave City, at the Purple Gold Tower, the thickest in energy lingered here. At the entrance stood two guards, both of them being malevolent spirit-level ghosts. Inside the lobby, a group of ghosts gathered, and seated on the stage was the boss of all the ghosts, Ghost Scholar. He swirled a glass of red wine, enjoying a massage given by two brightly made-up princess ghosts. Have we verified? Was it the army or the safety bureau that entered the ghost domain? Are there any ghost masters of the seventh level or above? Hearing this, a skeleton ghost below immediately replied, I've captured and interrogated a few of them. They claim to be freshmen coming to Vast Wave City for a trial. There isn't even a decent fifth-level ghost master among them. Hardly had he finished speaking, when Ghost Scholar burst into hearty laughter. Ha ha, so they're just a bunch of kids. I thought they sent an army capable of annihilating us. In that case, send out a few ghosts, capture these kids, and bring them back to serve as a feast for our brethren. At this, a ghost enveloped in frost, known as Frozen to Death Ghost, asked with concern, Boss, do you want to capture all of them? Wouldn't this provoke the Zhou Nation to send a large army against us? Another ghost, named Gambling Ghost, spoke with disdain. If Show Nation had the capability, they would have wiped us out long ago. The reason they've trapped us with a formation now is because they can't spare the manpower. Gambling Ghost says makes sense, said another. A ghost puffing on a pipe named Smoke Ghost. Taking a drag, Smoke Ghost addressed Ghost Scholar.
Scholar. Boss, leave these greenhorns to me. Let our brothers just wait for their meal. Hearing this, Ghost Scholar displayed a satisfied grin. Make sure you act swiftly and don't let them escape. Meanwhile, after cleaning up the battlefield, Lin Ma and his two companions headed straight for the city. As soon as they entered, Lin Ma felt it was like a post-apocalyptic world from a movie. Dilapidated cars and buildings were everywhere, and the only word that could describe everything around them was ruined. At this moment, Acho cautiously warned, the ghost levels inside the city have generally increased. I can smell the presence of stronger ghosts. Hearing this, Black Little Fat whispered, Hey, good brothers, we've already collected over a hundred corpse-eating ghost orbs. Should we head back? Lin Ma nodded in agreement. You're right, no matter how tempting the ghost orbs are, it's too dangerous here. He pointed to a building ahead, but the bank is right there. It would be frustrating to not check it out. After we grab what we can, we'll retreat. No sooner had he spoken than a wall exploded in front of them. Lin Ma exclaimed in alarm, looking towards the billowing smoke. Three enormous bullheaded ghosts emerged, glaring menacingly at them. Ah Chiu shouted at Lin Ma, do we fight? It seems they're three malevolent spirit level ghosts. Lin Ma, quick to react, grabbed Black Little Fat and started running towards the side, shouting, no way, head for the bank. Thus, the three frantically fled, with the three bullheaded ghosts hot on their heels. As the gap closed, Ah Chiu said, it's just three malevolent spirits, we can take them on together. However, Lin Ma shook his head, if we start a fight, we might attract other ghosts, we won't be able to escape then. From behind, Black Little Fat's cries echoed, brother Lin Ma, save me, their horns are about to pierce my butt. Just as it seemed Black Little Fat would be caught, Lin Ma suddenly stopped in his tracks, quickly turning around. He activated his right eye's blood pupil. With the activation of the skilled blood realm illusion, the three bullheaded ghosts froze on the spot, roaring in anger, trying to break free. Run, Lin Ma shouted, let's shake them off while we have the chance. Just as Lin Ma was about to urge everyone to continue running, Black Little Fat suddenly shouted in panic, Brother Lin Ma, it's bad. Look, around them, a horde of ghosts appeared in an instant. Some climbed out from manhole covers, while others jumped from the 18th floor. In a flash, the ghosts moved swiftly towards the trio. Damn it, Lin Ma cursed. No wonder even elite ghost masters lose a couple of lives coming in here. However, Ah Chiu was surprisingly calm. I'll try to divert their attention. Both of you, stay close. After saying that, Ah Chiu bent down, placing his hand on the ground and yelled, Shadow Ghost, Dark Shadow Abyss. Immediately, the shadow beneath him expanded rapidly, enveloping the entire street in darkness. Now's our chance. Run, commanded Ah Chiu. Following his order, Lin Ma and Black Little Fat continued running towards the bank. Incredible, Ah Chiu, what skill is this? Lin Ma inquired. Ah Chiu explained, outside of the shadow's coverage, neither humans nor ghosts can see us. Within its range, all movements are slowed by 70%. The effect lasts 60 seconds. Watching the shadow ghost eliminate nearby ghosts, Lin Ma couldn't help but exclaim, damn, such a vast range with a slow effect and simultaneous elimination? Ah Chiu, your skill is insanely powerful, but 60 seconds should be enough to reach the bank. Let's run faster. Black Little Fat, already exhausted, complained, can you guys slow down a bit? My legs are about to fall off. Shortly after, the three arrived at the vast wave banks building. This is the place. Let's hide inside quickly. Lin Ma urged. They had barely entered when the vast shadow disappeared. Black Little Fat, drenched in sweat, collapsed on the floor. Lin Ma, too, was panting heavily. Only Ah Chiu remained unfazed, saying, no ghosts are chasing us for now, but you both need to work on your endurance as ghost masters. After a brief rest, Lin Ma eagerly stood up. Bank, my money, I'm coming. Just at that moment, a man who heard the commotion walked out from the inside. Their eyes met, and the atmosphere instantly intensified. Damn, Lin Ma, of all people, what a small world, exclaimed the man. This was Lu Zi, notorious for causing trouble for Lin Ma during their college entrance exams. He was also the top sycophant chasing after the daughter of the safety bureau's deputy director, Sun Lily. With so many ghost waves outside the city, how did the last two ranked students like you get in? Did you contract with ghosts that can fly? Lu Zi taunted upon seeing Lin Ma and Black Little Fat. Black Little Fat quickly tried to explain, we don't have flying ghosts, but about those ghost waves, we. Lin Ma hurriedly covered Black Little Fat's mouth. Forget about that. Did you take the money inside or not? Lin Ma's main concern now was whether Lu Zi had taken all his money. Just then, three students from Snow Phoenix approached. They all appeared to have the power of second-level ghost masters. Hey, silver-haired boy, whether we took the money from the bank or not is none of your business, Lin Ma remarked, sizing up Lu Zi with a sarcastic smile. Lu Zi, not bad. A first-level ghost master cozying up to three second-level ones. Did the thick-skinned Sun family assign you these bodyguards? Lu Zi, fuming, rolled up his sleeves, revealing two symbols. Who said I'm leeching off others? I have real skills and talent. Unlike you, who only contracted a mere one and a half ghosts. As Lu Zi looked on in shock, Lin Ma's arm revealed a row of six symbols. Retreating in disbelief, Lu Zi stammered, impossible, there's no way you contracted six ghosts. They must be stickers or tattoos or something. Lin Ma responded coldly, how many ghosts I contract is none of your business, but I've set my sights on the money 
in the bank today. Before Lean Maw could continue, he was blocked by the three second level ghost masters. Listen, punk, don't get too cocky. So what if you have six contracted ghosts? Each of us brothers has three contracted ghosts. Combined, you stand no chance against us. Lean Maw deliberately glanced at Lu Zi. Why are you only counting the three of you? Isn't Lu Zi a person too? Hearing this, Lu Zi was emotionally taken aback. Lean Maw, no matter how you try to show off, you still can't beat us. As soon as the words left his mouth, Lean Maw quickly signaled Ah Chio and Black Little Fat to get ready for action. All right then, if you're so confident, come and try. We won't stop until we've beaten the crap out of you. Lean Maw taunted. But just then, Blood Pupiled Ghost whispered urgently into Lean Maw's ear. Not good. He turned to look out the window. I see over a dozen high-level evil spirits and a top-tier wicked spirit heading this way. We need to leave. Now, hearing this, Lean Maw instantly panicked. A high-level wicked spirit alone was hard to deal with, but with the support of so many high-level evil spirits, they didn't stand a chance. With that realization, Lean Maw hugged Ah Chio and Black Little Fat and said with a laugh, Gentlemen, let's not take things to heart. We were just joking. How could we possibly beat you? We don't want the money anymore. Lean Maw then quickly started to drag Ah Chio and Black Little Fat out of the bank. Seeing this, Lu Zay broke into a smug grin. Good to see you recognize your place. Now you know not to mess with us from Snow Phoenix. Reaching the bank's entrance, Lean Maw nodded hurriedly. Yes, yes, you're right. We're leaving now. Just, please stay inside the bank. Once they crossed the street, Black Little Fat asked why they had abruptly left. Lean Maw, in a rush, simply said, no time to explain. Quickly, summon the Trash King Ghost. Upon hearing Lean Maw, Black Little Fat did as instructed. The current Trash King Ghost stood over two meters tall, enough to fit five to six people with ease. Without wasting a moment, Lean Maw called on Ah Chio and Black Little Fat to climb in. Shortly after, more than a dozen vampires appeared outside the bank. Each of their ghostly energies was formidable, especially one with a pitch black energy, the very high-level wicked spirit that Blood Pupiled Ghost warned about. Thankfully, they had hidden before the ghostly figures arrived. Watching this, cold sweat drenched Lean Maw and his companions. Inside the bank, the four, including Lu Zi, were quickly surrounded. Lu Zi cursed loudly, Lean Maw, damn you, you knew so many ghosts were coming and didn't warn us? The other three ghost masters braced themselves for a fierce fight. Can you stop cursing for once? We'll be fighting these ghosts in a moment, and whoever can escape, should. One of them chided. Unexpectedly, Smoke Ghost took a drag of his cigarette and smirked. With just you few underlings, if you can last under my hands for the duration of a cigarette, I might consider letting you go. As soon as his words landed, the Snow Phoenix Ghost Masters immediately summoned their contracted ghosts. Brothers, let's fight them head on. Listening to the clamor of battle inside the bank, Black Little Fat whispered to Lean Maw, Brother Lean Maw, do we still want the money from the bank? Do you even have to ask? Of course, we do. Those three from Snow Phoenix aren't ordinary opponents. Even if they can't defeat the ghost group, they can at least wear them down. Black Little Fat's eyes lit up with understanding. Brother Lean Maw, you mean that after the ghosts are weakened, we can swoop in and deal the final blow? By then, both the ghost orbs and the money will be ours, right? Lean Maw nodded, indicating that Black Little Fat had grasped only half of the plan. Ah Chio, who was standing next to him, calmly added, if the ghosts aren't weakened enough, we'll wait until they leave and then retrieve the money. This way, we have the option to either attack or defend. Lean Maw laughed and gave Ah Chio a high five. Exactly, that's the idea. Seeing this, Black Little Fat sat down in dejection. I give up. How do you two even think like that? Compared to you, I feel like an idiot. Upon hearing this, Lean Maw quickly tried to comfort him. Why would you say that about yourself? Just remove the word like from your statement. 